The Space Infrared Telescope for Cosmology and Astrophysics initially called HIIL-2 after the launch vehicle and orbit, is a proposed infrared space telescope, follow-on to the successful Akari Space Observatory. It is a collaboration between European and Japanese scientists, which was selected in May 2018 by the European Space Agency as a finalist for the next medium-class Mission 5 of the Cosmic Vision Program. Its sensitivity would be more than two orders of magnitude over both Spitzer and Herschel Space Telescopes. History In Japan, SPICA was first proposed in 2007 as a large strategic L-class mission, and in Europe it was proposed to ESA's Cosmic Vision Program M1 and M2, but an internal review at ESA at the end of 2009 suggested that the technology readiness for the mission was not adequate. In May 2018, it was selected as one of three finalists for the Cosmic Vision Medium Class Mission 5 M5 for a proposed launch date of 2032. Overview The concept is a collaboration between the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency and the European Space Agency If funded, the telescope would be launched on JAXA's H3 launch vehicle. The Ritchie Cratien Telescope's 2.5 m mirror similar size to that of the Herschel Space Observatory would be made of silicon carbide, possibly by ESA given their experience with the Herschel Telescope. The spacecraft's main mission would be the study of star and planetary formation. It would be able to detect stellar nurseries in galaxies, protoplanetary disks around young stars, and exoplanets, helped by its own coronagraph for the latter two types of objects. Description The observatory would feature a far-infrared spectrometer and is proposed to be deployed in a halo orbit around the L2 point. The design proposes to use V-groove radiators and mechanical cryocoolers rather than liquid helium to cool the mirror to below 8K degrees Fahrenheit versus the 80K or so of a mirror cooled only by radiation like Herschel's which provides substantially greater sensitivity in the 10 to 100 micrometers infrared band IR band. The telescope is intended to observe in longer wavelength infrared than the James Webb Space Telescope telescope. Its sensitivity would be more than two orders of magnitude over both Spitzer and Herschel space telescopes. Large aperture cryogenic telescope Spica would employ a 2.5 m diameter Ritchie Schrittin telescope with a field of view of 30 arc minutes. Focal plane instruments me Spica mid-infrared instrument, 20–40 micrometers SMILRS low resolution spectroscopy, 17–36 micrometers. It aims at detecting PA dust emission as a clue of distant galaxies and emission of minerals from planet formation regions around stars. SMI misses mid-resolution spectroscopy, 18 to 36 micrometers. Its high sensitivity for line emission with a relatively high wavelength resolution R equals 2000 enables characterization of distant galaxies and planet formation regions detected by SMILRS. SMI hours high resolution spectroscopy 12 to 18 micrometers with its extremely high wavelength resolution r equals 28000 SMI hours can study the dynamics of molecular gas in planet formation regions around stars safari spica far infrared instrument 34 to 210 micrometers topic objectives As in the name, the main objective is to make advancement in the research of cosmology and astrophysics. Specific research fields include The birth and evolution of galaxies The birth and evolution of stars and planetary systems The evolution of matter <laughs> Discovery science Constraints on the emission of ground state N2 emission from the first population three generation of stars The detection of biomarkers in the mid-infrared spectra of exoplanets and or the primordial material in protoplanetary disks The detection of N2 halos around galaxies in the local universe 
With sufficient technical development of coronagraphic techniques, the imaging of any planets in the habitable zone in the nearest few stars The detection of the far-infrared transitions of polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons in the interstellar medium the very large molecules thought to comprise the PAHs, and which give rise to the characteristic features in the near infrared, have vibrational transitions in the far infrared which are widespread and extremely weak. The direct detection of dust formation in supernovae in external galaxies and the determination of the origin of the large amounts of dust in high redshift galaxies See also Ikari Alma Herschel Space Observatory James Webb Space Telescope References External links SPICA Mission Homepage Homepage at the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency Homepage at the European Space Agency Spica – Safari at JPL Spica.wmv on YouTube. Jaxa Sagamihara